Mystery shot again. I'm just so self-conscious. I just hope I look good today. I know. <laughs> well, Lisa, I know why. Now, everyone wants to look their best, and in a society that values beauty, getting cosmetic procedures, it's nothing new. But with 117 procedures and still counting, not many have gone to the extremes that Justin Jalika has gone to. Well, and he's joining us now to talk about his desire to continuously transform himself. So welcome, Justin. Thank you for having me. Well, I want to clarify this. It's 117 procedures, correct? That's correct, 117. Wow. What was the most, uh, I guess, involved procedure? I don't know. I guess my shoulders were the most involved. That was my most recent procedure. So I, I pioneered this procedure where I did three separate implants into the shoulder, and no one else in the world had done it. So it, it was a bit difficult even to find a doctor to undertake the initial procedure. And since then, I've had two more revisions on it just to try to get it right. Can we, I, I don't know if we can, can we see what? Sure. Sure, looks right. like. So I, I custom designed actually. So we have front, middle, and the back, all three pieces of the shoulder. So when you flex, you can actually see all the definition separate. So like, to all what's those in sections. there? They're they're actual implants. Is that they're silicone like, implants? implants? They're like or? solid silicone rubber. So I brought a sample. So okay. <laughs> so you're welcome to feel if you like, but it mimics okay. muscle. So but it's a solid silicone rubber. There's no fluid to it, not like a breast. It implant feels like gummy. It feels a little bit like one of the gummy. Yes, <laughs> like a gummy. No, no, because they, they do have <laughs> they do have gummy bear implants now, but those are for right. women. Those are for breast implants. Well, you're talking about the cohesive silicone yes. gel ones. Yeah. Right, but that's a gel, so these don't have the gel on oh, the Oh, these interior. don't have the gel, okay. But I even, I just, when I redid this, I custom redid my, my biceps. So this is the third procedure on my biceps as well. Okay. But I constructed the design myself and then worked in tandem with an implant company to be able to come with that. But Justin, you look very fit. Thank you look you. like you work out. No so gym. why not, really, but no. why not work out instead? <laughs> instead of going through the whole procedure? Because it is dangerous. I mean, well, there's risk with everything. I mean, nothing worth having in life comes without a risk, right? I mean, if you want to be average, then just go with the rest of the herd but I mean if you want to stand out you always have to try to stand on your own and, and possibly be up to ridicule and, and, and deal with the risk and the dangers that may come along with that of, of failing it's possible of course but um, no it's been a long journey for me I started my procedures when I was 17 years old but um, it's, it's become an art form to me I don't know I, I love creating with it and, and now that I can put on my own implant line and I do consultations and referral service where I pair people with specialists so it it's taken me a long time to even find doctors that were willing to even consider the things that I wanted to do and that I've been trying to achieve over the years. But so, it's so doctors have said no to you? Doctors have said no um, based on the fact if I was looking to have a revision, primarily like I've had five nose jobs. So after the first one, a lot of doctors are a bit afraid to go in and they think, well, you come to possibly more problems with uh, the scar tissue and all the encapsulation that can happen because I have an implant even in my tip of my nose that comes from the back of my ear that we've then moved over to the middle piece to give the point and the projection and then through the bridge here I actually have a Gore-Tex implant now. But you know my ideals of beauty have changed over the years so I initially wanted a very scooped, sloped up like pinched nose and then as I got older and moved into my 30s now I wanted something that was a bit stronger of a profile. A well more isn't that the risk the though? Isn't that the risk that you're taking because it could change at 50? Well, you, no, it's your okay. idea I mean, if, if you, well, my idea of well, what I, is perfect or what is the define, ideal, yeah. You, I, I mean, you say your conquest is for perfection, but everybody's perfect is different. totally different. Right. Yeah. So yeah. how do you right. define, but as I, I, I wave think, this thing in my hand, how <laughs> do in you define face. what's perfect? I think perfect? that it's something that changed over time for me, and, and I think it will continue to modify for sure. If I, if I just said, oh, no, I'm going to stay in the same place, I, I think when I was 17, what I was exposed to was very limited. I came from a lower income family. We didn't get to travel. I didn't have the opportunities that I've had now being an adult and being able to have traveled the world and seen so many different cultures and different things. And, and the Western way that we, we attribute beauty to be like like the norm, it isn't the way it is really all around the world. There are so many different things that have added to sort of my thought process as far as what I now find appealing. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it has to be something that, that stays the same consistently through my whole life. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't have to be tied to this body. It's just my shell. It's not my spirit. So why, why shouldn't I be able to redecorate my body the same way that I do my house, let's say? I aren't mean, you it, it's the same thing to me. Aren't you concerned about the Kenny Rogers effect, though, where you start <laughs> to look so oh, yeah. oh, artificial? Because, I mean, your body is going to change in age and sure. the artificial parts of your body aren't Correct. so there's going to be adjustments you're, you're not worried about what you're going to look like 
30 years from now? I'm kind of excited, actually. Really? I sort of revel in the fact that I don't want to look like everybody else. And um, while I hope my implant line can speak to a lot of different people, for me, I mean, I've done them to make myself exceptional, to, to stand out beyond the norm. And I actually enjoy the notoriety for, for looking a bit different. I mean, for me, subtle wasn't ever what I was going for. And in fact, when people come to me and go, oh, I love your body, and I would never have guessed you had implants. It's almost, it's almost upsetting to me, and I'm like, oh, I should have gone bigger. <laughs> Oh, no, really? <laughs> totally. How no. do you decide Because I love the attention next? from it. Yeah, it, it definitely validates me as an artist, as a sculptor. Well, I feel like this is almost, uh, and uh, this is meant in a, in a complimentary sure. way, but it, do you feel like you almost found your calling with plastic surgery? In, in an odd way, for sure. Now, it's, it's, it's actually becoming a career where before it was just a love. It was a passion. It was a, was a hobby. Right. And, and now, now, with the media attention, I've been able to sort of put myself out there for the masses, and, and the response has been, like, amazing. But On a daily basis, people stop me now and sort of ask me questions about everything under the sun. But what do your friends and family think? What do the, those closest to you think about it? I mean, they've, they've come to terms with the fact that it's not going away anytime soon. So if they want to have me in their life, they have to accept that this is part of, of my love and my life and part of my passion. And, and it will continue. It's, it's not something where I see an end because there is no perfect, exactly what you said before. For me, it's a continual process. Just like people who are interested in doing tattoos and piercings, you know, they're looking to customize themselves. Mm -hmm. and, and my motivations, I think, are very similar to that. It's mm -hmm. not that I'm dissatisfied with the way that I look now, and yet I'll continue to try to pioneer doing quad implants and two-piece calf implants. You said this is a calf implant? That's, that's a calf. Right? And we can just do innovations on it, right? Exactly, to be able to modify it. Can right. You put it here. I can, you know, put a little. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you can. But wait, this how, is how, very how expensive. How much money have you spent? Yes. On all this? Yeah. Right now, I've I've spent one hundred and fifty thousand dollars at this point. But I have to ask you, what kind of? Hmm. And I know this may be hard for you to answer, but what what message do you think your life and lifestyle is? giving to kids or people in midlife or older people who aren't perfect and don't have the kind of money to become perfect. Well, I don't, I don't think that I'm perfect, first of all, but I, I think the message is you have to be true to whatever it is you want to do. I, mean, I get a lot of flack from people, even on my own fan page, you know, on, on Facebook, all these other media venues that I do uh, promotions on and that I've sat on these shows. A lot of people are, are very critical of what I've done. I mean, I don't say that it's the right uh, journey for anybody else to necessarily undertake, but it's something that's drawn attention to me it, it, it's, it's just been my love as an artist to be able to sculpt and create. I mean, you wouldn't ask anybody else who was a personal fitness trainer who pushed their body to any sort of maxes and they can tear their muscles, they can tear their ligaments, right? They can continue to hurt their body to push themselves to an extreme point and yet they still do it. And typically we applaud people for that. And people go well, on marathons across the United yeah. States. You made, a bit, you made a good point too with the people who tattoo and pierce themselves. Yeah. It, it really is. It's a personal choice. So, I mean, You're we can like yeah. an architect. Yeah. yeah. But I, I view myself that way definitely All right. yes is that your hair it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. You go it. Lisa likes this a little too much. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Jedlicka, thank you uh, so much. And Thanks you can so watch much. this segment again at WLNYTV.com slash the couch or do a Google search on Justin. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.